going. I hope you all are doing amazing. If you're new here, hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm the Intuitive Rose. Nice to meet you. If you're not new here, hello and welcome back. I'm so happy you joined me again today. So today, y'all, we're going to do a pick a card reading on who is crushing on you at this moment. All right, so we actually got four piles for you to choose from today. So feel free to choose between pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. And if you feel drawn to, feel free to choose more than one as well. But again, that's only if you feel drawn to. All right, so again, pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Let's begin. All right, so if you chose pile number one, the green rose, this is your reading pile number one. So let's see who is crushing on you at this moment. So I actually started hearing this song. Um, I think it's by Chris Brown. It's like drop it, drop it low. So I want to say some of you guys may have like an upcoming party, upcoming event, or maybe you just left one, something like that here. But I feel like it's it's definitely giving like a club area or a party, um, some kind of get together, okay, where you're dancing, where you're, you know, just vibing out. So this does feel like... Uh, um, definitely like a crush it's nothing more than that okay this could be someone like you just met or someone that you're about to meet all right it just feels like you know this person may like you know what you're wearing you know how you dance they may like you know um the performance i just heard so i'm not sure if you guys are like you know dancing or if you perform this could also be like singing rapping um yeah i just feel like party vibes with this pile so and it also does feel new okay so it's either you haven't met this person or you're going to meet this person soon it's possible that this person is going to ask you for your number as well all right so let's see my angels my ancestors my spirit team my spirit guides yeah i just seen the knight of cups so yeah this is definitely someone new like someone that's coming in all right let's see pot number one spirit who has a crush on pot number one at this moment please and thank you green could be your favorite color or green could be their favorite color yes we got the queen of pentacles some of you guys may have green on this day that you guys meet or the day that y'all met okay taking how it resonates but we got the queen of pentacles so you could be someone that's already like i'm hearing like a mom a dad or maybe just someone that has like their own business um it could have been you know like a business that you just started and it's starting to like you know pick up starting to blossom take it how it resonates but yeah i do feel like someone here may have a family already so it does feel like yeah the king of wands is in the back so yeah this person is admiring how um again how you look what you're wearing you definitely do seem to carry this um this maturity especially the fact that you're in this queen and king energy so they like how mature you are and some of you guys may also be I don't want to like say professional, but there's something about like your energy is very um, just mature. All right. Very mature, very stable. That's the word I'm looking for. So, yeah, this is definitely someone in that energy as well. It does. It feels like this person could be also looking to like collab with someone. I'm like seeing someone like ask for like a business card. So yes, this person that has a crush on you, I do feel like they want to work with you, but it's also possible they may be asking for your business card just to get your number, just to get your information, you know, just that I mean, like get your name or something. All right. Yeah, I definitely do see you're someone that, you know, you whatever you do for work you know, you carry it on your sleeves, like you may proudly, you know, talk about it, all right? Some of you guys, it just, this could be like something with banks. Yeah, because the Queen of Pentacles here and the King of Wands. Some of you guys could be Earth signs or fi uh, Fire signs, so that's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, that's Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. All right, who is crushing on pawn number one? 
this person might actually not know what to say to you at first so they might jump into like oh what do you do for work you know like that's the vibes that i'm getting they notice how mature how stable you look so it's like they automatically assume like okay yeah i gotta start off you know with the right approach okay they can tell you're not you're not someone that's easy okay we got the world yes so i it's very much possible that this person that has a crush on you actually does not live in your area um so this could also be instead of a party this could be like a work event all right where you know it's kind of chill laid back there's music going on something like that it could even be like a fundraiser so i feel like this person like sees you walking or sees you performing and they're just admiring you from a distance i do feel like they are going to be hesitant on approaching you so they may start off with maybe again like buying a product from you or asking for your business information but they really are approaching you because they they clearly you know like what they see all right yeah we got the world card here some of you guys you could also be like teachers all right let's see anything else here who has a beehives could be significant as well i want to say like you both have like a family or you both have you know like a world of your own okay so you have you know responsibilities whether that is kids whether that is um businesses or you know animals there's something that you both have that you both carry big responsibility for okay all right anything else here? we got the full reverse yeah there's definitely this hesitation because and then the lovers i feel like um this person that's crushing on you in this moment they may assume that you're with someone it's possible that you actually are with someone okay and they may know that because we have the lovers in the back of the deck it's either you are with someone or you are like you know recently separated or something like that here i want to say like this may not go further you know then maybe meeting up and like you know getting some drinks or just having a conversation it does feel like this is going to be something very small very short okay so whether that's like a day or a week it feels like this person or you um both of you guys do not live near each other it feels like someone is like visiting a place and that's not their you know permanent stay so yeah, that's why the full reverse is um, here. It's almost like, okay, well, I can't be, you know, foolish. But I do feel like they are attracted to you. And they may try to keep in touch, but I don't think it will go any further. All right. That is what I'm seeing with these cards. Butterflies could be significant. Someone could have a butterfly tattoo. Yeah. It feels like... Okay, so it is possible that um, this could also be like a co-worker as well. Take it how it resonates, but I, I am picking up on someone um, not really showing too much of really, you know, what they're thinking, which is like, oh, like I really find pie number one to be attractive. I, you know, like who they are as a person. Um, I feel like it may be covered by, again, being professional or you know just complimenting your work or complimenting or you know buying a product buying something okay showing interest in another way okay all right let's see this person could be light-skinned or caucasian they don't have to be take it how it resonates but i i'm just paying attention to the cards you guys so um, also, they could have like something with green on, maybe like green, um, like a green shirt, green blouse, green sneakers. Okay, so we have the nine of wands and the death card. Yeah, so this person that has a crush on you, there is a lot of things that's going on in their life right now. Um, and that's why I was saying I don't think it's going to go like 
anything further they may just be in the moment where like oh i want to speak to pile number one but it's just going to be something quick okay it's not going to be you know oh let's let's really get to know each other okay like i said the furthest i think this will go is just meeting up and maybe having like some drinks or speaking about business okay this person may ask you also for business information like a business card or your phone number but i don't think it's going to go any any further someone may not um, be open to a long distance connection because we have the world card here and then the full reverse it's almost like this may be um yeah seen as like you know a silly a silly thing to even consider because i feel like both of you guys are very busy with your work or occupied with your family something like that here and then i do pick up on someone already being in a connection but someone is still like you know crushing on you this could again be a co-worker all right let's see i'm gonna pull from the oracle we got yes we got the lovers so but the lovers landed right on the queen of pentacles i'm i feel like some of you guys may already be like your mind is still focused on a connection it could be maybe the the connection you previously ended or maybe that you're still in but you may be again not on the same page i feel like you both will you both will find an interest in one another but again it's nothing more it's not going to go further because it's like oh well i do have a husband i do have a wife or you know i am talking to someone else but it may not be serious but it just feels like you know both of you are attracted to each other and both of you are going to continue you know having a conversation whether that is about business whether that is about your kids you know whatever it is it just it feels like it's, it's a friendly conversation it's a friendly conversation, but in in the back of your head, I do see, um, you know, admi admiration, you know. All right, so I'm going to pull one more from a different tarot deck. Yeah, it's like someone's visiting a place and it's, it's like I can't, I can't, you know, give off the like it just doesn't feel like this person may be looking for something serious they're just again interested in what they see in this moment i'm not gonna lie you guys this may really just be a conversation out of boredom okay so again you may entertain it out of boredom for like a day or again 10 minutes take it how it resonates we got the ten of pentacles king of pentacles and the ten of cups so yes this talks about already having a family established like i feel like this is going to be both of you or at least one of you okay yeah and this person it's possible this person's married and they're not you know maybe again going through a separation or just not happy in their connection but i do feel like they are going to want to approach you because of um them liking something but they will definitely have self-control they're not going to make like a you know first move like you know let's meet up here you know stuff like that it's it's not going to lead to anything sexual it's just a conversation it's compliments you know and also like maybe you will talk about business how you got there what you had to do stuff like that also december could be significant or the number 12 could be significant as well as 10 10 10 like angel number 10 10 or october all right so some of the signs i see is pisces leo uh, virgo um scorpio sagittarius and gemini and libra um yeah so yeah if this resonates with you pond number one feel free to let me know i would love to know with that being said love and light and bye bye all right so if you chose pond number two this is your reading pond number two so let's see who is crushing on you at this moment so i do want to say um as soon as i like connected to pond number two's energy i did hear matrimony and let's get married okay so now i'm not gonna lie you guys i don't feel like you actually know this person i don't feel like this is someone you know i don't think this is someone you have met it's possible you will be meeting them soon all right because the yellow um vibe is giving almost like friendship so i want to say um yeah the person that's crushing on you 
will be coming in and it's possible it could be maybe around springtime maybe summertime okay so i want to say this is definitely a single pile because the yellow energy yeah it's like maybe you've been single or maybe you just haven't been talking to anyone you're just you know maybe open to receiving a connection but yeah this doesn't feel like you met this person so I do feel like this person that is coming in, they will be in this energy of definitely wanting something very serious, okay? I feel like their intention is to date, to marry, all right? And if you have met this person, then it's possible that they want this. However, the fact that it's yellow, it's, I don't feel like they're going to show this off right away. It, it's definitely... Um, giving the energy of someone that maybe is very traditional so maybe like courting or dating um, just taking things very slow because the yellow feels like this person um, that's crushing on you or will be crushing on you it wants to really get to know you um, and learn you and yeah I, I just heard take care of you so yeah And it's also possible that this person is trying to be like play it safe as well so um they may not be rushing into anything oh my gosh i'm actually seeing like a face in this in this rose if you look to the left it's almost like there's like a nose and the eyes closed yeah and like her hair is like a rose i feel like this person that's crushing on you actually is going to want to cherish you like respect you that's why i feel like it's very traditional like you know be there for you in the way you need me to be but i do feel like this person is going to it's going to probably start off as like a good friendship okay gold could be significant i do feel like this person is very stable when it comes to like their finances also when it comes to what they want as well like i do feel like they are looking for a person whether that's you know looking for a husband looking for a wife they are looking for that we got the king of swords yes it's definitely an energy and the king of cups I love that. So this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person could own like a company. It's possible maybe like a, sh a ship company, like, or maybe a company where they have to do like a lot of shipping out, something like that here. Yeah, the King of Swords. This is definitely someone that is going to really catch your eye. Like, I see that. The King of Swords, it, it's possible they may, you know, I'm seeing, like, someone, like, pick up something for someone. So, it's like they are going to be very much like a lady and very much a uh, um, gentleman. It's very, how do I say it? I just feel like very traditional. Very, very traditional. So this may be seen as like a rarity, okay? Something that is not as common. But it's possible that you are also in that energy. So yeah, I feel like you are attracting someone that, you know, knows what respect is, know how to respect someone. Who is crushing on pot number two? Oh my gosh, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like this person actually owns like a company, like they run a company, they run a business and they're, it, it's actually very, very prosperous. Like they, you know, earn a good living. So that's why I was getting earlier, um, like matrimony and, you know, let's get married. So this person definitely knows that they want to settle down. It's possible this person has maybe worked a lot, you know, worked very hard to get where they're at and they just never really um, either found the one or they just didn't, you know, they maybe weren't looking for it at the time, but I do feel like they are stable when it comes to this and now they are looking for, you know, someone to settle down with. February could actually be significant because I'm seeing like two. So either the second or um, February could be significant. <clears throat> Let me see. 
the emperor yes thank you for the confirmation this is this is definitely a business owner this person may actually have like a lot of facial hair take it how it resonates if this is a masculine take it how it resonates i see a lot of facial hair they they could also be like a redhead or something or like brown hair yeah like brown hair red hair I see this person having a lot of rewards, a lot of, um, oh, it could also refer to degrees, okay? So maybe they spent a lot of time in school or they have a lot of knowledge on something. This does feel like a business that is like family owned, okay? So yeah, they, they seem to come from wealth, honestly. They come from wealth. The King of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor. I feel like they, like I'm being shown like a childhood that this person has worked like pretty much their whole life and it was pretty much to train them to be in this position so yeah maybe the, it's like their father's business or their mom's business but they're like the son and the daughter take it how it resonates but i just see this person like searching for someone now i'm thinking of that movie coming to america with eddie murphy so yeah it's very much possible that also, this person is not going to be upfront about like what they do because um, I'm being drawn to the King of Swords here. This person may have to, you know, be a little smart when it comes to um, sharing their business, sharing, you know, their personal life. So this person will be like a bit private when you first meet them. And again, if you guys have met this person already, you may notice that this person is private and this person is very goal oriented. All right, let's get another please and thank you spirit. Who is crushing on pile number two? I'm seeing like a sunset. Yeah, oh my gosh, the 10 of cups and then the lovers. Yeah, this person is actually gonna be very romantic very very romantic they're going to have a very sweet side to them the ten of cups this person may like fishing they may also like what is that karate movies something like that here they may like karate we have the lovers card here this person definitely will be um family oriented as well i see them having a good relationship with their parents this is someone that was raised very well and this is why again like i was seeing i'm seeing someone in this flower like a lady very very elegant yeah all right so let's pull from kipper i feel like you guys there's something about a father's relationship in here it's either they have a very good relationship with their dad or maybe like you will, like you guys will definitely get along very well. So, you know, if any of you guys do have like maybe um, dad issues, I feel like this person coming into your life, or again, if they're already in your life, you're going to build a connection with their family, with their parents. It's going to be definitely like a, a blended family. You're going to feel right at home. But this connection is going to start off very slow. And it's because, again, this person wants to just be safe. They want to make sure that, again, it's, it's you know, safe for them and safe for you as well. But it just feels like this person has a lot that, you know, um, that they have to make sure is protected so again whether that is like a family business a family name a reputation take it how it resonates but i do feel like this person has a soft side they're not going to show it at first they're definitely not the king of swords they're they may come off as someone that doesn't really have feelings but then you're going to start noticing like they're actually really kind all right we're going to pull one more oh my gosh occupation yeah there's something about their business they take it very seriously someone um you know what this could also talk about like a lawyer um an officer something like that here wherever they work it's very important 
it's it's um definitely like family owned or again they're in like a position where they're like very close to the manager or they are the manager someone here could also be like a designer so like they may have like their own fabric line and then we have poverty and then unexpected income so yeah honestly this this honestly feels like a connection that's going to bring a lot of help to you financially and again um if any of you guys seen that movie come into america um eddie murphy actually played like he wasn't rich he played like he did not come from money i remember he had like a mcdonald's job and then that's when he met i think her name was lisa or something like that um, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. So spirit is really making me um, feel, especially with the occupation, the poverty, this person may act like they, you know, they may not share how much they really make or share how much, you know, how much they come from. All right. So yeah, and I'm seeing the cat and the rat. So it's going to be some kind of secrecy when it comes to that. And it's only to protect again either the family business or protect them something like that here because you know that is the same thing i'm sure like celebrities do um instead of you know jumping in like hey yeah i'm, I'm rich or i'm a celebrity they don't want to do that because you don't want to um meet someone that has the wrong intentions so i feel like this person will be coming in with the right int intentions and they're also looking for the same thing like they are looking for um, a match um, fours could be significant March April because I'm now seeing three okay I keep seeing the king of pentacles I'm using a different tarot deck and the king of pentacles wanted to come out but it didn't so this could be an earth sign too Capricorn to his Virgo but I feel like spirit is just confirming this person is really going to be very good with finances this may also be someone that invests in um, their money. Like, they may, again, know how to invest. Yeah. All right, let's pull one more card, please. And thank you, Spirit. Um, who is crushing on pot number two? It's, it's giving, like, Beauty and the Beast vibes. When you meet this person, this will be, like, a fairy tale. Um, but, again, it's not. I don't feel like you're going to know right away. Like, because it's like there's something about a facade but it's not nothing bad it's just a protection all right it's just to protect someone here or a business all right a park could also be significant we have ace of pentacles yes exactly what i mean and then we have the seven of wands in the back of the deck so this person is really in a position where they have to be very very smart they're in a position where, again, they may rule something. They may, I don't know. But the Seven of Wands, it feels like they definitely have to be on guard sometimes. So they cannot share too much. Um, and now it's making me think of, like, people, like, you know, having glasses on, sunglasses, like celebrities and stuff when they're grocery shopping. It's something like that here. They're not trying to be deceptive, but they do have to be deceptive on when it comes to certain things. Like they will only share certain things in the beginning. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like, again, this is making me think of like a fresh start. Like this person may help you with something. Security, honestly. This feels like very much security. All right, I'll spill one more card. Who is crushing? We have the Four of Cups and then the Justice card. I almost feel like you may not want to even take this person's offer. Like you may be thrown off like, hmm, you know, because it's whatever this persona they're giving. You may be like, hmm, I don't know. But then I see you with the Justice card, like just taking a chance. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune behind is like, all right. I just, you know, I take the chance, but then you may end up seeing like, oh, wow, like this person's actually really nice. This person's um, very meaningful. Like they, they're very helpful. Um, let's see, anything else? Yeah, I get a lot of facial hair or again, a lot of hair. This person may have a lot of hair. You may have a lot of hair. 
it's like at the end of the day they really wanted to um the five of wands and the page of cups yeah this is definitely someone that may have options the page of cups and five of wands yeah they definitely have options and it feels like they're going to be interested in you though with this page of cups there's something that's going to draw you two together let's see let's pull one more clarify what is this kind of connection spirit It's crazy because I'm literally seeing threes, fours, and now sevens. So it's like four and three make seven. So seven, seven, July, be significant. But I feel like, hmm, let's see, what is the energy this connection has? We have the four of pentacles and then we have the sun. And the Ten of Cups. So yeah, there's something about security here. I feel like you guys are actually going to be very good for each other. But there's something about someone needing to open up more. But I feel like there will be an understanding once you two get to know more of each other. You're going to understand why this person may have come off that way and vice versa. All right. So yeah, the Ten of Cups, I feel like this person definitely wants a family with you. They will want a family with you. Um, it's definitely going to be a good connection, healthy, happiness, and also security. Like, it's going to be very secure. So if this resonates with you, pod number two, feel free to let me know. I would love to know. With that being said, love and light, and bye-bye. All right, so if you chose pod number three, this is your reading pod number three. So let's see, who is crushing on you in this moment? All right, so I just got a message about like a dating app. You could have met this person on a dating app, or you will be meeting this person on a dating app. But I want to say right from the jump, you guys, this do feel more like a lustful connection. Because even like all this red um, is making me think of, you know, passion and, you know, intimacy, stuff like that. So who's crushing on you is definitely someone that wants to, you know, take things to the next level, get to know you in that way. All right. So yellow could also be significant. Um so let's see my angels my sisters mm, i already see one it didn't come out though page of wands so yeah that's confirmation with the page energy we have the two of swords so i feel like you actually know this person and you may be questioning like is this person just you know after you know are they really into me or do they just like me because you know blah 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 so i want to say yeah it may be because of you know whatever you have um you're coming up as very attractive and also again i do feel like this is fueled by lust and it's possible maybe you know it's the same thing for you too it's mutual um but if it's not i definitely do see that this person is operating from lust okay we have the two of swords i don't know i would not say that is a good thing i don't know we got the knight of swords okay so it's possible this person may like have like a wishy-washy energy we got the yes thank you for the ace of cups so it's like one minute they may like um you know send you a, a message full of love and full of compliments full of good mornings and all this good stuff and then maybe the next they're like leaving you hanging all right it's very much possible that this person has like other people they're talking to yeah we got the chariot here it feels like this person may do this a lot i'm sorry to say that pawn number three but this chariot this person could be a cancer they don't have to be they could be a libra i'm seeing a lot of yellow now i feel like this person and then we got the page of swords so yeah i feel like this person is is really in this energy of being playful so Mm, yeah, I would not I would not take this person seriously. Again, I do feel like they desire you. Yes, they desire you. But if you're not looking for, you know, something like that, I would I would not entertain it any longer. I do feel like you may have been questioning this person's intentions. 
it's not necessarily to hurt you. I feel like they may have been a little upfront as, you know, what they're looking for, you know, or maybe again, their body language or their, um, you know, actions have proven like, okay, this person only, you know, compliments me on this or they may try to maneuver the conversation to maybe flirting or you know sexual something like that take it how it resonates i do feel like this person that's crushing on you really likes your chest so whether that is you know you got some you know mus muscles going on there you may like to flex or maybe again for my ladies out here watching your chest is you know um you know admired okay Hmm. This is also giving like <clears throat> like an on and off thing. So it's possible that this could have been like maybe a friend or maybe like someone you attended school with with the page of swords or maybe someone you used to work with. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. It is a general reading, but I do feel like this person kind of comes and goes. Or maybe this has always been your connection. I don't know. Um, a dating app is also significant. So whether this person's on a dating app or you're on a dating app, I don't know, but I do feel like this person kind of does this, okay? I don't see this person really taking something serious as possible. They're still in school or maybe they want to go back to school or maybe, you know, they're trying to focus on, you know, bettering themselves, bettering their career. So again, this does feel like a, a lusting connection, you know, in the moment, embracing the moment, you know, and it's possible you two may have had a moment like that. And, and I'm seeing like it being like cut off, something like that here. So whether you guys were, you know, about to kiss or about to whatever, I see it's being like dis disrupted. Okay, I don't know. Take that how it resonates. All right, anything else, Spirit? Who is crushing on pawn number three? And it's crazy, you guys. We have ten of cups. So it's possible this person may still live with like their parents. Oh, so okay, that's probably what happened. All right, because yeah, I was seeing like some kind of um disturbance so whether that was like their parent or something or maybe like you guys are not really able to be alone because there's people around or maybe people in the house take care of resonates but i do hmm the six of wands i don't feel like this is anything serious and i do feel like there's like a mom or a woman that's i don't know either running running this or like having an eye on you or you both something like that here i see like a strict mom or a mom that's like controlling maybe mm. i do feel like this person is like watching like hmm. um you know if again if this person does live at home they're like not allowing you two to be alone or they're be they're being very nosy i see a, a woman in here doing that or this could be your mom something like that this definitely feels like a young, a young connection. So this, you know, you guys may be dating this person. Take it how it resonates. You may be actually dating this person. And this two of swords energy, like I said, I don't feel like it's in a, it's, I don't know. I don't feel like it's good. Two of swords is questioning. I feel like maybe in the back of your head, you're questioning like, you know, should I be with this person or should I, you know, entertain this? Something like that here. But I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I do feel like it's just operated by lust. Um, I don't see this person really taking things seriously with you. But again, they are attracted to you and they like your chest. Something about your chest here. And also, it does feel like they may try to act like you know they are invested with this chariot here like they may actually spend some time you know investing but it's not something serious i do see like i don't know there's something about this person yeah yeah there's something about this person either having options or maybe I don't know keeping their options open so whether you're just talking to this person you guys are like no labels i do feel like they have their options open okay they definitely do have their options open 
yeah now i'm seeing with the ten of cups how like there's all these fishes in the sea so yeah definitely options open all right now i'm like getting a slight headache all of a sudden so that's possible with this two of swords was saying like this person has definitely caused like a you know maybe love blind or you know a headache you know maybe one day or one there was a moment where again this person may have really had you confused something like that here i feel like this person is just really attracted to you like that's really all i'm getting and i think you may suspect this you may know like this person is just here for a good time here for a fun time you know take it how it resonates I do feel like this person is actively working on themselves, like career-wise. Like they want to, they're trying to figure out what they want to do in this life. Um, it's also possible they may be still in school, okay? Or maybe you're in school. All right, let's get an oracle deck, please. And thank you, spirit. Um, who is crushing on pawn number three? Who is crushing on pawn number three? Uh, we got imprisonment. Mm. This person may have been in jail before um, or high honor. Okay, so yeah, there's also something with this imprisonment about being closed off. I feel like this person definitely do like attention. So um, I, I don't feel like, again, they... I don't feel like they're publicly like saying, oh yeah, I'm talking to someone or I'm taken. Like I said, if you are dating this person, I feel like they do keep their options open. So again, take it how it resonates. I do apologize. You know, this may not be something you want to hear, but again, with this two of swords, I do feel like this was in the back of someone's head. Okay. We have the main male. I feel like this person puts themselves first. This person may be in the army or thinking of going to the army. Something like that here. Their uh, parents may be encouraging this. We have adjudication. Yeah, something about school. I feel like their, um, their primary focus really is, again, what they want to do in life. I don't feel like they, they are... Um, it's either they're not like happy or like what they're doing right now. Or they're just, you know, still trying to figure out what they want to do. The 25th could be significant, the 29th could be significant, or the 30th could be significant. Um, I don't know, I almost feel like someone's like waiting for this to kind of just be over or something like that here. Maybe you have some suspicion that, you know, that day will come. I don't feel like you should be taking this person seriously if you have been thinking because i do feel like this person like i said one minute they may kind of you know come in with all this you know hugs and kisses and then the next they're like you know fist bump <laughs> you know it's, it's giving mixed signals here um let's see we got the fool oh my gosh see what i mean yeah we have the empress and then we have the fool i feel like they definitely are you know drooling over you absolutely like they love you um not like in love with you but they love you like they love how you look they love your body um yeah i feel like you are just someone that is very pretty very handsome okay and again, for my masculine watching, I feel like there's something about your chest here, whether it's like perky or maybe you have a tattoo on your chest, something like that here. But someone is very attracted to their chest. So it's also possible why the two of swords, <laughs> that is hilarious, spirit. Okay, so yeah, that's possible why the two of swords is out as well, because the two of swords, it's funny, their their eyes are covered. So it's like they're not really thinking, you know, they're they're kind of distracted by something else like i feel like yeah mm -hmm. definitely lusting um seven of pentacles so yeah it's almost oh my gosh and the devil card in the back so yeah if you notice that this person doesn't really like invest in you like there's something about flowers like i'm hearing that song i should have bought you flowers so if this person is not again giving you time gifting you as they you know should to show like hey they are interested 
you know, I think that is a clear sign, you know, how they really feel. But not going to lie, you guys, I do feel like this person is going to, you know, whether they have to leave or something for school, I do see this connection not being forever. Um, so I do apologize again if that may be triggering to hear. You could be dealing with the Leo. Um, you don't have to be, but I, I don't see this person being honest or upfront about if they're talking to someone or if they're dating someone. I see Cancer, Gemini, Leo, um, Scorpio, Mars could also be significant Mars, Sagittarius and Capricorn. So yeah, I'm going to pull one more. Please and thank you, Spirit. Yeah, this person could definitely be in like the army. I'm seeing like with the high honor, they're like shooting. So yeah, it's almost like shooting their shots. Like I feel like this person shoots their shot. Like they're very flirty. All right. And maybe this is like an ex of yours or something like that. Or maybe this is maybe to their ex. I don't know. Yeah, Spirit is showing the moon card here, the ten of cups. They're not really honest. All right, but again, I don't feel like this is a secret. I feel like this was um, definitely something that was in the back of your mind. All right, again, maybe there was a moment that you guys had where they may have said something or they may have done something and it had you thinking like, hmm, that's a little suspicious. Yeah, spirit is confirming. No, it, it's suspicious. All right. Um, I do see this person like really close to their family and I, it's possible that their family, you know, doesn't see this in their their child or something like that here it's possible they're influenced by someone around them as well um we have the seven of cups so yeah confirmation that this person definitely does like to have their options open they're not ready to be tied down and again it's possible they vocalize this to you okay 444 could be significant also the 14th could be significant take it how it resonates i'm seeing someone with like a low cut maybe you can have your uh, hair cut or they have their hair cut and braids something about braids okay yeah i think someone's already thinking about leaving this connection so take it how it resonates if this did resonate feel free to let me know i would love to know with that being said love and light and bye bye all right so if you chose pot number four this is your reading pot number four so let's see who is crushing on you at this moment all right so there was something i totally forgot i should have wrote uh, wrote it down um, but there was like a channel message I received, but it was something about like heartbreak. So I do feel like this person that is crushing on you um, has definitely gone through something um, very traumatic in their life. It does feel like when it comes to maybe a connection. So I'm thinking of like someone that was seriously, you know, involved in something and that was taken away from them so whether this person like passed away or whether this person um maybe again ended things or there was like a third party situation some kind of heartbreak betrayal definitely did take place and i do feel like this person has healed from that or they're currently still healing from that because i'm like seeing this color as like peach so it's just making me feel like someone has really like worked towards getting better you know um working on themselves as well working on their garden so again healing themselves and also um healing you know maybe like their mental emotional like it does feel like this person has had some time to really sit down and reflect all right because yeah i'm thinking of like the growth uh the process it takes for you know things to grow when you plant something so i do feel like this person has had some time and they really, again, dedicated that time. So I definitely do feel like the person that's crushing on you will be um, someone that has been through something maybe you have been through or there's something that you two relate on. But either way, I do feel like this person um, will understand, you know, what not to do. All right. I don't feel like this person is going to come in and be like, oh, someone did this to me. I'm going to do it to you. Like, no, spirit is making me feel like this person is very wise when it comes to something. I feel like they're also very empathetic. All right. Very, very, um, very understanding is what I'm getting. All right. So let's pull from Tara. All righty. I already see the nine of uh, pentacles. So yeah, confirmation. I think this person has been single for some time, maybe ever since that connection. Something like that here. Let me get a drink of water. All right. 
<clears throat> this person could like hunting like you know maybe animals or maybe like road trips okay because i'm thinking of like really going after something like on an adventure on a hunt for something something like that take it how it resonates so let's see i see this person loving music so they could create music or they really like music yeah so in the car they may have music really loud or they may have like you know so many different varieties of songs genres that they're into i feel like this person really likes a lot in life like they really are someone that doesn't really stick to one thing like they really are open to trying new things all right someone very open and it's crazy because again like spirit was um showing me that this person has been hurt before so this also shows how this person may have turned their pain into power they don't let pain hold them back so i love that this person definitely has meaning like they see meaning in life they give meaning to life all right all right so let's pull from tarot peaches may like be someone's favorite color or maybe fruit something like that we got seven of cups and we have the four of wands and then we have the page of swords and then the moon card in the back so i feel like this person that's that has a crush on you actually like already has an idea what they want like honestly low-key if this feels like fairy tale vibes <laughs> some of you guys could have came from another pile i'm not going to say the pile just in case but because there was another pile that i spoke about fairy tale like very much fairy tale and this is what it's making me think of because the page of swords is almost like am i am i making this up is this a dream will i will i only have this in a dream so i do feel like this person that has a crush on you definitely already has an idea what they want in this life who they want as a partner it's possible that they you know may actually be manifesting this if you are talking to this person as of now like maybe dating i see this person you know what you guys you're it's possible you're also engaged to this person because with the four wands here take it how it resonates but i feel like this person definitely um knows what they want they know how to treat someone like they i'm literally getting someone that knows how to treat a lady knows how to treat their man all right they have a lot to give is what i'm hearing the seven of cups yeah they have a lot to give i'm hearing like delicate so yeah we have seven of pentacles i feel like this person has actually been single for a long time the seven of pentacles here I feel like again this goes back to reflection like they had a lot to think about um either again these past couple of years it could have been maybe six to seven years take it how it resonates 2017 could also be significant i feel like this person has definitely been by themselves for a while It's funny because, yeah, the Page of Swords is holding this um, dandelion and you can tell like it's flying, like all the all the um, parts of the flower is flying off. So it's almost like this person making a wish. This is so cute. Like it's giving very, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> definitely a hopeless romantic kind of vibe in here we have 10 of swords i'm telling you this person has definitely had a lot of and then the hierophant they have had a lot that they had to heal from so again if you are with this person you may notice that this person um talks about things that they have learned from they may really also be someone that gives a lot of advice the page of swords so yeah they may be put into positions where they have to be some kind of teacher where they speak about testimonies life lessons and also the things that they had to endure all right i don't feel like this person looks for pity though 
I do I do feel like they speak on this to encourage to motivate but I do see that they have a lot of scars like they've been through a lot like they had to heal a lot and yeah it's possible like this was damaging to them like this may have changed this may have been a big catalyst in their life take it how it resonates but if you are dating this person I see this person like knowing like you know what to do what to say I feel like this person is very generous they I feel like I'm, I'm getting the message like they wouldn't hurt a bug like they wouldn't hurt a flower like they're someone very delicate like they treasure what they have yeah four of wands I there's something about engagement here so you may notice this like the way they do engage like with others like there's someone very considerate like i'm getting someone that will be quiet when someone's talking like they actually let someone speak they let someone you know express they're not someone overbearing very again like delicate like very there's something about seeing someone that they're with seeing someone that they love seeing someone that they care about as delicate someone that they want to take care of treasure yeah you oh my gosh okay so yeah i just seen another card that came from that pile so yeah the empress card came out you're gonna notice this person um is giving the vibe of what do they call it like ah something the the broken healer or something like that here I forgot, I think it is actually called that, Broken Healer. You know, someone that continues to give, to, to heal, even though they never had that. So it's like, they already operated from that. Like, they were already in that energy, but they never received it. So it's like, I do feel like this is someone that teaches it, that gives this, all right? Like, teaches people to be better. I do, this is a very, like, loving energy but then there's also like again so many scars in the mix of it like i see that with the the ten of swords and it's possible this person may still have you know some days where they do struggle maybe mentally um but again it, i feel like they would never um hurt anyone the way they've been hurt they would never disrespect someone the way they've been disrespected yeah, so like I said, they this person has a lot of empathy. You may notice maybe if this, for example, if this is a masculine, they may be um, very connected to their feminine side. So again, they're very expressive. They're very, um, you know, when someone is expressing themselves, they may be really like able to understand, to process like, oh my gosh, like this person's hurting and they may, you know, give a hug or, you know, just speak words that really do help someone feel, feel better. Like, I feel like this person is very good when it comes to feelings, emotions and expressions, like stuff like that. Um, this person could be like the biggest brother or the youngest brother, or again, maybe youngest sister or biggest sister. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like they they did come in a family. Um, they are born into a family where they have siblings, okay? I see that here with the four of um, wands. All right, so I'm going to pull from Kipper. Um, and then I pull from another tarot deck. Alrighty. Actually, this person may like orange. Now I'm being drawn to the orange flowers on the Empress card. So they may like orange yeah this is a very pretty orange very pretty all right so my angels my sister my spirit to my spirit guides for upon number four who is crushing on them in this moment we have sudden wealth seven 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 distance horizons then we have message of concern and then coffin yeah see that's the confirmation that this person has been through a lot and then we have wealthy man in the back so privileged lady yeah this person is definitely you're going to notice they are someone that you know is very kind very giving as well the sudden wealth this person may actually make good money and they may you know sh express their love 
in gift giving okay so they may notice like oh i noticed you needed you know um this fix so I, I went and got this fix for you like i feel like they do things without being asked but it's again this is an energy of like um them just giving and giving and giving because they wanted someone to give to them okay it just it feels like they've been through a lot the six of cups came out so yeah healing it talks about healing from pain um from childhood from connections from relationships stuff like that okay let's pull from this tarot deck this person may like to read also i'm getting something about volunteer they may actually volunteer their services like this is definitely someone so nice like i'm like getting the image of someone reading to uh children so um this person could be a teacher or this person may like um again teaching the youth because i was getting that like they teach people about their life or they teach people what they went through like their testimonies and stuff like that it's definitely a healer's energy in here It's possible you may meet this person on their birthday or um, there is like a birthday coming up. Six of Cups has balloons on it. I'm being drawn to the balloons. All right, who has a crush on number four? So we have the Queen of Cups and then the Hierophant. <laughs> yes, I said they are connected to their feminine energy so i see cancer pisces taurus um the hierophant i do feel like this person um definitely has like people that look up to them you may notice again like whether they are like the oldest sibling or the youngest sibling i feel like they're very close to their mom the emperor oh my gosh we have the hierophant queen of cups and the emperor this is definitely someone that uses their power for good. They definitely are um, someone that is very empathetic with the Queen of Cups here. And again, it's so funny because I do speak on like how it is. It's not common to see like people of power use it for good, you know, at least from where, you know, where I'm at. Um, but this person is in a position of power and they definitely use it to better the world. I do feel like this person has um, has the idea of wanting to change the world to make it a better place. Like I said, this, this could go back to the volunteering. They actually may, you know, fly out to different places or, you know, volunteer their services, help out, you know, in hospitals, stuff like that is what I'm getting or with children. We have the page of cups here. So yeah, this person definitely does have like a soft spot, a sensitive spot. Ten of cups. Yeah. Um, this person can also be like very religious or very spiritual they're they definitely are faithful all right all right i'm gonna pull one more card who is crushing this person would like to wear like um it could be like crowns or it could be like wraps like stuff covering their hair um bandanas headbands stuff like that i see like things over this person's head ribbons yeah hmm okay <laughs> so this is a little funny you guys but like i'm being drawn to like the head still so i feel like this person may wear this to like cover up something maybe they don't like their hair or maybe like they have like a I don't know like a bald spot or something i don't know <laughs> that's funny okay so yeah six of swords so yeah it's a lot of healing in this energy i feel like and the knight of wands is in the back of the deck i feel like they are really inspired to help others heal to help others be better okay you're going to notice this person being very generous all right you're going to learn a lot from this person or you probably are already learning so much from this person so i think i'm gonna end it there if this resonated with you ponomer four feel free to let me know i would love to know with that being said love and light and goodbye